I was always brought in for, to review these investments because 30% of them went bad. When I say went bad, I'm going to label it as 100% loss of capital. 100%. Another 16% of those that you would invest in that was labeled as a syndication would break even. So why was this happening? It was always happening because people didn't do enough due diligence on the individual, right? So a lot of times what happened is, you know, I always tell people, put on your salesman hat for a minute. Pretend that whoever is speaking, and this includes myself, is trying to sell you something. So if that's the case, now you're thinking about it in a little bit of a different light. So what we're going to do is we're going to review this because honestly, I saw a lot of people do these types of investments and make a ridiculous amount of money. So we're going to review each one of these, and I'm going to end it on a mineral right side because I think that's something that a lot of people didn't understand. And while running a retirement company, it was actually the most profitable investment that I saw that was very safe. So we're going to kind of review each one of these types of real estate asset choices, right? From individual single family homes, we're going to touch a little bit on that, some commercial multifamily short-term rentals such as Airbnbs and self-storage units and then mineral rights. So I'm going to start with multifamily. And the reason I'm starting with the multifamily side is uh, from 2017 to about 2021, this was a big, big space that people wanted to invest in. And so you can see from low end C-class pro properties that would kind of bounce up to the high end class, maybe new construction, maybe just a, a light rehab for some sort of multifamily aspect, right? 